So hey guys, so welcome to another Warframe video and today I want to take a quick look at Gorgon Wraith which has recently been reintroduced into the game when Corpus finally finished building their Razorback and decided to siege the Cronia Relay with their Armada. Now there are three different versions of the Gorgon, there is the Wraith version which focuses on status, the Prisma version which focuses on crit and then the regular Gorgon which doesn't really do anything that well so it's just kind of there before you get either the Prisma or the Wraith version. Now the Wraith version aside from being status focused so it gets 15% status whereas the Prisma and the original ones only have 5 also does the most damage. Though it is not by much because it does 27 damage with each shot whereas the Prisma and the original ones only do 25. It also focuses far more on impact damage than the other two weapons because each bullet will do 23 impact damage, 2.7 puncture damage and only 1.3 slash damage. It fires faster than the regular Gorgon but slower than the Prisma Gorgon and it's also more accurate than the regular Gorgon and less accurate than the Prisma Gorgon. The crit chance and crit multiplier are the same as on the regular Gorgon but lower than the Prisma Gorgon and finally the Wraith version has the fastest spool up out of the three because it only takes 10 rounds before you reach full fire rate whereas with the normal Gorgon it takes 10 and with the Prisma it takes 12. Now the build I ended up with is a 3 forma build where I've added 3 Vs and the mods I'm using are Serration for more damage, Split Chamber for multi shot, then Heavy Caliber which increases the damage even further which this weapon really needs because it just doesn't do too much damage overall and the decreased accuracy isn't actually noticeable at all. And I unfortunately don't mean this in a good way because the Gorgon Wraith is so incredibly inaccurate at any kind of distance even without Heavy Caliber, you're just not gonna notice the even lower accuracy if you put Heavy Caliber on. Then I also added rifle imitation which is kind of necessary if you don't want to run with carrier or you don't want to run with desecrate necros because without rifle imitation I was running out of ammo in exterminate missions. Then to shorten the reload speed a little bit I've also added fast hands because without it it takes 3 seconds for you to reload which is not that great and finally I'm running high voltage and malignant force for corrosive damage and thermite rounds for heat damage and this is the setup that I use versus the grenier, corrupted and infested. Versus the Corpus I'm using this one which uses high voltage and thermite rounds for radiation damage versus machinery and malignant force for toxin damage which bypasses shields. And this setup is pretty effective up to sort of level 50, if you go above that the enemies just get too beefy and it will take too much ammunition and time to take them down. And even that's pushing it a little bit because some of the really beefy units like Bombards for example still take a lot of ammo even at around level 50. It would probably be okay if you took this into like Corpus Sortie 1 but if you want to fight the other factions I would recommend sticking to the star chart. This weapon is old, I mean really old, it's been first introduced with the Tetra's Doom event which happened in March 2014, so this weapon is a little over 3 years old now and it unfortunately shows. The accuracy for example is so bad that unless you're stuffing the barrel up the enemy's nose you're gonna miss like 50% of your shots and I'm not over exaggerating, my average accuracy while I was recording footage for this video was hovering right around 50% and I know I'm no sharpshooter but I usually don't miss half my shots either. Then if you're like me and you're bothered by long reload times, especially on weapons that can empty out their magazines fairly quickly, you're gonna have to sacrifice a mod slot for fast hands which means the weapon is gonna do even less damage and if you don't want to run with necros or carrier you're gonna have to sacrifice another mod slot to put on ammo mutation. And even if you're willing to overlook all of that or you're just not bothered by it, this is still an impact based weapon that focuses on status. So even if you're fighting an armored target and you strip away all their armor with corrosive damage, you are still doing reduced damage with IPS because impact does a less damage versus flesh. It only does bonus damage versus shields, proto shields and machinery, so mostly the corpus. So at this point I would say this is more of a collector's item than anything else, it's just not that great and it can struggle even if you're just fuffing around the star chart and if you really want to play with the Gorgon I would get the Prisma version because it's just much better. And that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching as always and I will see you next time, bye bye.